So I'm here with Dennis Shu, and we've been talking about several different topics on how we can deliver different types of experiences and really involve our our clients and, and our clients' employees, but in trying to kind of combine that or entangle that with the customer experience. So getting yeah. um, our technicians out in the field that are with the customer in the customer's home and how we can bring that into full circle to help. So Dennis, can you talk a little bit about, you know, some of those strategies that we've, we've been kind of sharing? So Jonathan knows about, and you know about one minute videos. And let's say that you own a seven figure HVAC company. You got a bunch of texts that are going out. Every one of those interactions before, during, and after is an opportunity to be able to collect an interaction. Not because you just want to collect a Google review, but you want to collect a 15 second vertical video on the cell phone right. or a 60 second video that then the internal marketing team can take and repurpose it into a vertical YouTube video, an Instagram story, a Snapchat, a LinkedIn, a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram, all these different channels. Because what's more valuable? That screenshot of that Google review? Right or that video of the customer expressing how they feel and you get a sense of who they are personally. Yep. And it's all about that technique. So you've got to be able to equip the techs to be able to do that because they naturally won't know what to do. They're great at fixing the air conditioners and adjusting the thermostats, but they don't know how to talk to the customer to collect the video. And they are the front lines. They are the people who are the closest to the customer. So they're the ones you actually have to equip at the moment when they're on site to collect that video. And it was interesting. I was. I was talking to Dennis and as he was, we were talking about this, like these light bulbs started going off and I started saying, you know, we all know in this digital marketing world, how powerful Google reviews are. We know how powerful reviews are in general and that people go and look and you and I, every day we go to restaurants, we go to stay at a hotel. We're not going to stay somewhere that is a three point anything, correct? Mm -hmm. So we know that it's powerful, but when Dennis started talking about that interaction with the customer, then it just made me pop to go, if a Google review that someone doesn't know, they're looking at someone's name and going, this is believable and I'm gonna trust this, but if they could see a 15 second mm -hmm. video with that technician wearing your branding and logo with the customer going, you know, hey, Mrs. Jones, thank you so much for allowing me to come in your home today and change out your filter or put in your new thermostat. Would you mind sharing with future you know, customers of ours, what was the experience like working with you? And I said, man, if a Google review is that mm -hmm. powerful, mm -hmm. what would that do? It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a million X, right? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like, you just don't know. It's, it's, it's mind blowing. Well, you guys have heard a picture is a thousand words. So what's a thousand pictures? <laughs> exactly. And then if you take that video, what are you going to do with it? That's right. You're going to put it, you're, you're going to boost it, you're going to edit it, and you're going to use it on all these other channels. And that way, that one killer testimonial, like we've done with some clients, we'll use it across 700 different stores. And that will just continue to produce. So these are all assets. We think about these videos as like money in the bank. They're fantastic. That's right. Yeah, so we're, we're, we've been brainstorming. We're working on different strategies. And, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to put plans together to really take our content strategy to a completely different level to where we're engaging our clients, the owners of these air conditioning and plumbing companies, and we're gonna have them, and we're gonna train their technicians and their salespeople that are out in the field with these customers to help bring them into the story. And we're gonna share this across every single platform that we possibly can. You know, the funny thing is that we, we talk to a lot of business owners and they think it's all about the technical tricks and software and tools and these secrets when really it just goes down to relationships. And I think over the next few years, you're going to see that the folks who win in HVAC, like Jonathan with Cornerstone, are those who are able to maximize relationships. So those business owners who take the best care of their customers and are able to make that more visible are the ones who are going to win because people make decisions based on relationships. They want to invite the same people back into their home, the people that they trust. So I hope you guys take advantage of this. That's right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Dennis, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to speak and work with us today. So it's been, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jonathan. Awesome. Oh crap. I didn't record this. I'll punch oh, you, you didn't? in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll punch him in the face.